So someone asked me in the comments if I thought that the magnetic mask would be able to keep up with something like a drummer. So I was thinking it would just be kind of cool to test that out. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're just going to apply the magnetic mask to a few different videos of drummers, and we're gonna see how it fares. Let's do it. I like the magnetic masks they do. My press. Okay, so here in Final Cut Pro, I just have four different clips of drummers, and we're just gonna test out to see how the magnetic mask does with each of these clips. Now, the first clip that I have here is just a little bit more chill. It's kind of, you know, a more slow motion, relaxed version of a drummer. And we're gonna see how well the magnetic mask does applying to that clip. So this second clip here is a little faster, a little bit more sporadic, there's a little bit more blur. So we'll see how that one does as well. The third clip gets a little bit more intense, gets a little faster, gets a little bit more active. So let's check out to see how this one does. And then finally, we have one more clip that's kind of more sporadic, crazy. The camera's moving around, so it should be more of a challenge for the magnetic mask. So let's dive in and actually start to apply the mask to these four different clips and see how it does. So to give it a fighting chance, I'm going to actually try to find a portion of the clip where I can see the whole person and I can see both of the drumsticks. Because ideally, with something like this, you want it to be able to kind of identify both of the sticks as separate items, separate from the body itself. So in this video, to show that we've actually masked the character, we're gonna use the colorize effect. So we're just gonna take the colorize effect here. I'm gonna make sure that I click on the clip that I want, I'm trying to find a good frame where I've got both of the drumsticks in focus. Oh, that's pretty good, right there. So that's gonna be the frame that I use. And then now I'm going to take the colorize effect, which is down here in your color effects. I'm gonna drag that over on top of my subject here. And then you can see it's already going to mask a good portion of him. And now we just have to do a little bit of tweaking to kind of get the parts that we want. So we want his hand here and it's going to select some things we don't want and that's fine. So we'll just select the drumstick and wow, we just got a whole lot of extra things we don't want. So we don't want the couch. We don't want the couch underneath it. We just kind of have to select around here and make sure that we only get the drumstick and his hand. We don't want that piano in the background. We don't want the couch. We actually do not want this thing that's in the foreground here. We just want the drumstick. Okay, I don't want, see how there's this like the pillow in the background behind the drumstick? We don't want that either. So we don't want that pillow back there. We just want the drumstick. I don't want whatever this is, it's like the top of the piano back here. Okay, so now it looks like I've just got his hand. I've just got the drumstick. I've got him. Okay, so I think that we have this masked pretty well. So now we have to analyze this and we'll just see how this performs. So since this is more of a slow motion drummer and it's kind of a little bit more smooth, I think that it's gonna do a better job masking this one. I suspect that as we get to the end and we get to the drummers that are kind of more chaotic and they're kind of moving around and there's more motion blur in there, I suspect that the magnetic mask is gonna have a little bit more trouble with that. But that's why we're doing this. Let's test and see. So at any point, if you leave a comment and it's something that kind of interests me and that I'm gonna try, I might make a video about it. So please leave comments and give me your ideas and give me your thoughts and make sure that you let me know what you wanna see. And maybe when this channel takes off, I'll be able to buy a computer that doesn't appear to be a snail running a marathon. Okay, so it's gone through the process of analyzing now. So let's actually colorize this. We'll just make it kind of a bright green color here. And I'll make the shadows up there in green as well. And then we'll just click up here so we can see it all. So now we can see he is colorized green. I'm going to take the intensity way up. So now it's really obvious that he's green. And let's just kind of go back through and watch and see how well it did. It's really not terrible. There's a part there where it misses his arm a little bit, but overall, I think it does a pretty good job. Now, this is kind of slow motion, and we, we could definitely go in there and we could correct those little spots where it missed, but so far on the first test, I think it's done a pretty stellar job. There's definitely potential here on capturing things that are moving quickly. Now, let's try something that moves a little quicker. So we're gonna go over to this drummer here. He's moving a little quicker. He's kind of you know doing his thing. I'm gonna try to find a frame where I am seeing both of the sticks. 
Okay, I think that might be the best one that I'm gonna get for this one. This one might be a little trickier because it's starting off with this motion blur on it. So let's just see how it does. I'm gonna grab my colorize and I'm gonna drop that onto the subject here. And that's gonna grab most of him already. Now I don't want this space down here, so I'm gonna take that away, but I do want this stick, so that's good. I don't want this space back there, but I do want this. This is a trickier one. I do want the hand here, and I do want this stick, but I don't want this space in here. So we have to get very, very detailed with this one. So I've got his hand, but I don't want that space. I've got his hand, I've got his stick. Um, and I want to get in there. Okay, well, I mean, I think I've got it all. I. I might just take, try to take that out right there. Oh yeah, okay. This is gonna be a tricky one, so we kinda had to get a little bit more detailed in here. So I'm wondering if that's gonna cause us an issue right here, but let's just analyze it and see what happens. And of course, I just realized I had it zoomed in at 100 and didn't get part of his pants here, but we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen because the whole point of this is to mostly see how does it handle the drumming part, right? Um, but let's just play this one back and see how it did. I'm gonna colorize him. We'll make him kind of in the purple range. So we'll put him down in like purple and then I'll make this color in purple as well. And we'll kick the intensity way up and then we'll kind of go out so we can see. So now we can kind of watch this one and see how it did. And you can definitely see a few spots where it misses the stick. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Now, had I not been zoomed in and realized I didn't get his pants, we could have gotten all of those different parts as well. But I don't think this would be a huge amount of touch up here if we just kind of like walked back through it frame by frame, right? And if you were going frame by frame, like a situation like this where it didn't get some of the stick, we could just stop on this frame and we could go back in and fix the mask on just that frame using the brush tools or using the dropper. We could do that and all we would have to do is do that on each of the frames where there was a little mistake here and fix it and I think this would turn out pretty well. So I'm gonna give this particular drummer in this particular case kind of more of like a B because there were definitely some parts that it missed, but it really did do a decent job overall for sure. Okay, let's dive into this drummer. My prediction here is that this particular drummer it's going to struggle with. Okay, I'm going to apply the mask at this point right here where you can see both of the sticks. There's some blur on one of the sticks. Well, there's some blur on both of the sticks actually. And you can see his whole body. So hopefully this will do a good job of masking him here. I think the trick to a drummer like this is you have to find where all of the different you know, body parts are extended in ways where you can get like both of the sticks, you can get the arms, you can get like the motion of where the body might go. So let's just drop our colorize onto him and we'll see what it masks. Okay, so it doesn't do a terrible job. It's grabbing most of him in that case. So we definitely will need this outer part of his hat, but not this stuff in here. It's not getting this stick at all, so we want it to, okay, so it kind of grabbed it. That was good. I want to grab his shoulder there, but I don't want the space in between. This is a tricky one because his hand is kind of blurred here. So, okay, it's got the stick, it's got his hand, it's got his pants down here. Um, his hat is like a little too extended here, so we don't want that. Okay. So it's got the whole drumstick, the blurred drumstick. It's got the hat now. I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna try this and we'll just analyze it and see how it does. Because again, this is just an experiment. I just wanna see how the magnetic mask will actually analyze a drummer. A drummer is like the prime example for using the magnetic mask because this person's moving all over the place. They're making all sorts of noise. They've got all these wild motions. So it's a good use case for seeing if the magnetic mask can keep up and mask that person. So we'll analyze this one and then we'll talk about it afterward. Okay, so that analysis is done. We're gonna just kind of colorize this guy to yellow so we can see really well. So which part of him is actually colorized like that. And let's just play through it and see what it looks like. That is really not bad. There are definitely parts where it misses, but overall, that is amazing. It's amazing how much it keeps up with the drumsticks. There's definitely parts that it misses. So I do think that if you are going to use the magnetic mask on something like a drummer, you are going to have to go through and make a few corrections and fix a few things. 
but this is really good. I'm really impressed by this. All right, so over here on this one, I think I'm gonna go with this frame to apply the mask. So I'm gonna grab my colorize, gonna drop it onto the subject here, like that. That's pretty decent already. So I'm going to just try to get the stick in here. And I don't want the space between the sticks. I do want that stick though. And I'm going to just kind of tinker around in here. I don't want this space between. And I do want the pants, but not the symbol. And we want to make sure we get his whole head. And that one looks pretty good. I think that one's going to hold much better, but this I think is going to be the hardest one because he's moving all over the place. He's sporadic. The camera's moving with him. So this one's going to be interesting, but let's go. Let's analyze. Okay, so we have this one analyzed. I'm going to change the color on here. I think we'll go into the blue with this one. We'll go, why don't we go bright blue like that? And then we're going to change this color over to the blues as well. It's just kind of the whites and the blacks that end up being colorized to blue. And I'll just kick the intensity way up and then I'll colorize it. And now our subject is blue here and we can see how much it did. It's so good. Yes, there are parts where it misses things. So I'm not gonna say that it's 100% perfect and 100% accurate, because that doesn't seem to be the case, especially with something like a drummer, where the person is moving all over the place and there's a lot of motion blur and things like that. The magnetic mask will miss some stuff, but it's not so much that you can't just go back into those frames where it missed stuff and add the mask back in. So now that we've created this and we added the magnetic mask to all these different clips of drummers, I'm just gonna play it all out for you so you can see how the magnetic mask fared against a drummer. So I think that in the context of a drummer, when you're trying to do the magnetic mask, it is going to very accurately do most of it. I don't think it's gonna catch every little part. There are going to be things you have to fix if you're doing something like a drummer, but it is so good. It is so good. And this is only the first version of Magnetic Mask. Can you imagine what this is gonna be like in the next few versions of Final Cut Pro when they've actually perfected this even more, when the AI that's involved has gotten even better? This is just the first version of the Magnetic Mask. And it is this good, it is this good at masking a drummer, a drummer who's moving all over the place. So I am very excited about this. Thank you for the suggestion on trying to do this with a drummer. I thought this was a really cool test. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you could do me a favor, click that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel as it really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to bring you more and more exciting and interesting things. And if you wanna help support this channel, then definitely do so by clicking that like button, hitting subscribe, leaving some comments, making sure that you engage in the video. It helps me out a lot. Also, if you want to help out financially, there's a link down below to buy me a coffee. But again, just your likes and subscribes and comments and things like that is more than enough support for me. I really appreciate all the feedback that I get from you guys in the comments. I really do love it when you give me ideas like this. So keep your ideas coming. I'll keep making these videos. We'll keep building this community of like-minded people who want to just create, do some video editing, create amazing art. And if you thought that this video was cool, you should definitely check out this one.